it's Sharon. I'm doing a bonus ab session. Let's get started. We're gonna do some standing ab exercises. I'm gonna do them twice. Let's get going. So I'm gonna bring my hand up, come to my knee. Ready, 30 seconds on the clock, and let's begin. So coming down and up. This is an oblique exercise. You do not have to do all your ab, ab exercises on a mat. We're gonna switch after 15 seconds. So I'm just curling to the side, using those obliques. Switch, up and down. Standing nice and tall, keep those shoulders back. You're feeling it right here. A few more and then we're gonna repeat it. All right, take a deep breath. We're gonna put 30 seconds back on that clock and go. Repeat that exercise. So bringing that knee to my elbow, twisting right here, curling at my side. Keeping those shoulders back. We're switching after 15. Switch, elbow to knee. Try not to get too much momentum involved in this. Control it. Just a few more. I'm gonna grab a weight for this one. We're gonna do some um, twist on our oblique. Um, you don't have to use a weight with this. You can just curl your hands back and forth. We're gonna do this twice. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock and begin. So I'm coming to the side. My foot's coming behind. Small movement. Again, using that core. You will feel this in your glutes also. Standing nice and tall, keeping those shoulders back. So I'm not swinging the weight, I'm just moving it to the side. You'll feel the twist in your core. Just a few more. Breather, we're gonna repeat that. Take a deep breath, 30 seconds on the clock, and let's begin, twist. Again, moving my body just slightly in the direction of that kettlebell. Step in behind, engaging those glutes with your core. You'll definitely feel this down the side of your core. We've got a few more. All right, we're gonna do standing crunches. I could put my hands behind my head. I'm all I'm gonna do is come and crunch down towards my knee. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock and begin. So I'm coming down, curling my back, alternating my legs, keeping those elbows back. So again, you get to curl your back. Like if you were on the mat, you're just curling to your knees. Breathing through it, keep those shoulders back. When you come up, nice and tall. So I'm gonna show it to you sideways, curl. All right, let's get through this and we're gonna repeat it again. A few more. Deep breath, we're gonna start that again. I'm gonna do it sideways this time. 30 seconds on the clock and begin. So I'm coming down and up. Curling my back as I come down. Breathe through it. Straight up and come down. Feel that in your core. We've got a few more to go. Our last standing exercise, we're gonna go back to the kettlebell. Again, you don't need a weight. This is gonna be a longer stretch on those of oblique. So it's similar to the first exercise, but now we're really gonna swing it out. We're gonna put 30 seconds on the clock and begin. So I'm now taking it away from me and pulling it in, swinging it out. You're gonna feel a more of a stretch on that core on this exercise. So we're making a bigger movement with it. Pull it in. Again, you do not need to use the weight. You can use your hands, pulling side to side, feeling that core turn. Right, we got a few more. Then we're gonna repeat it. I'm gonna grab back that weight. Take a deep breath, everyone. 30 seconds on the clock and begin. So I'm switching it out, bring it in. So you can just swing it out, slightly bring it in. The whole idea is to move that weight. 
If you bring it in, you can get a little break. So swing it out. And breathe through it. Really reach in this time. Gonna bring it out and in. Got a few more. Okay, we're done with that. Let's get on the mat. Gonna take a quick drink. Let's do about four on the mat. Remember, we're gonna repeat everything a couple times, or each exercise twice. I'm gonna come on the mat. I'm gonna do a quick V-sit. I'm gonna slow it down and pick it up. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock and begin. So notice my hands are towards my glutes. So I'm pushing in and out fast. I'm sitting up nice and tall. Then I'm gonna go slow, pulling it in and out. You're gonna feel that slow. You feel that really in your core. Gonna pick it up, push it out, slow it down. Breathe through it. Pick it up, slow it down. We've got a few more. I'm gonna come on my side. We're gonna do some um, side obliques. There's lots of variations to this exercise. I'm gonna do two while I'm doing it. So first I'm gonna bring my arm under my shoulder. I'm gonna put 30 seconds on that clock and begin. So I'm coming up and down. Again, working the sides of my abs. We're gonna switch after 15 seconds. I'm gonna come up into a full plank and go up and down. You could split your legs and continue to do it. Lots of variations. Let's switch. Come back, I'm gonna do that full plank and up and down. Again, you can bend your knees. I'm trying to keep my head in line with my spine, keep my shoulders back. Almost there. Okay, we're gonna come back down to the mat. We're gonna do a bridge. We're gonna march these bridges. So I'm gonna keep my glutes up nice and tall. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock and begin. So I'm staying up the whole time, just bringing those legs up, keeping those glutes up. I don't wanna sag them down. I wanna make a nice line from my knees down to my shoulders. Let's march it out. These are called marching bridges. Keep that core nice and strong. We've got just a few more to go. I'm gonna stay down on the mat. I'm gonna put my hands under the small of my back. I'm gonna do some crisscrossing with my legs. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock and begin. Some crisscrossing. The lower you go, the harder it becomes. So the first round we did each exercise twice. We've only done them once, so we're gonna repeat this set. All right, crisscrossing. You can feel this in your core. We've got a few more. All right, we're gonna repeat. So let's repeat those four exercises. We're gonna do those quick V sets. Put 30 seconds on the clock and begin. So I'm gonna go quick and then slow it down, intervaling it. Quick, pick it up, keeping my shoulders back. Interval, pick it up and slow it down. Again, don't slouch, keep those shoulders back. Quick, and slow it down. Push it out. We're almost there, now slow. All right, we're gonna do those hip dips. Come on the side, I'm gonna be in a full plank. Again, you could be like this. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock and begin. So down and up. You can use your hand if you need to. You can split your legs. This is a little bit more stable, stacking them and a little bit more unstable. Switching after 15. Work those obliques, switch it around, come to the other side and up and down. So I'm trying to not lean forward, keep those shoulders back. Move up and down. Feel that right here. We're almost there. Come down, we're gonna do those marchings. On the mat, let's put 30 seconds on the clock, bring your glutes up and go. March it up high, lifting those legs up. You're gonna feel it right in your glutes. Let's breathe through it. Keep that core up. 
Work it out. Feel that all over your body. Great core exercise. Let's march it out, bring those legs up nice and high. Just a few more to go. All right, we're gonna do those crisscross. Let's put our hands under the small rubber back. Our arms, are, our legs are up. We're gonna put 30 seconds on that clock and begin. So crisscross it out. Again, you can come low and come up high. You can alternate it. You're gonna feel this in your core. You could stay right here, modify it, or keep on going up and down. Let's breathe through it. Keep that core nice and strong. We've just got a few more to go. Still modifying up and down. Great. I hope you enjoyed our quick ab exercise. I hope you enjoyed this quick bonus ab workout. Remember to visit my website and like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Look for more videos to come.